Good morning, everybody. Today we are making up them cabbage rolls. So in here I have two pounds of ground beef. And the best part is, with cabbage rolls you don't have to use beef. You can use a combination of whatever meat you want. Or if you want to make it vegan, use lentils, use beans, use whatever you, you want. Because really, there is... I personally don't think you can make it wrong. To tell you the truth, it's however you want to make it. And I also have one large onion that I diced up pretty good in here. I'm just trying to get this kind of mixed up so it's a little easier to incorporate everything. Now I typically stay more traditional with um, my cabbage rolls than I do with my stuffed peppers. Because my stuffed peppers, I do add a whole bunch of stuff into those. Now, I'm going to start adding my seasonings. So I'm going to put in some salt, because it's a tomato based thing. There we go. That box just didn't want to cooperate with me. So I have about mm, probably closer to two teaspoons in there. I'm going to add in some cumin, not much, just enough to help enhance that beef flavor. You don't have to add this, I just like it. I'm going to add a little bit of celery seed in here. Basil, probably a good teaspoon, two teaspoons, yeah, we'll go two teaspoons. Two teaspoons, same for oregano, two teaspoons. Same with parsley. Same for some thyme. And get some garlic in there. Good generous amount of garlic. And And some rosemary. I thought I had it out, but I did not. We're going to add in some tomato sauce or tomato juice, whichever you want to use. And get the rice in. I'm going to go one, I'm going to go a cup and a half. Of rice with these ones. Now we're just going to get in there and mix this up and see how it looks. So that is all nicely mixed up. So I'm already on the stove. I'm waiting for my cabbage to boil. Um, I soaked it overnight in salt water, washed it off, rinsed it off, let it drain, and now I have it uh, simmering in some hot water to soften leaves up, which will still be another little while before that's ready. And I think that looks perfect to me. Mm, smells delicious. <laughs> you probably thought I was going to eat it. Nope, just smelling it. Okay, so I'm just going to wash my hands and then when I bring you back, we will be adding, we'll be, um, putting these together. So we'll be right back. Okay, so my cabbage hands have boiled and they are ready to go. I only got about 10 good leaves off both of my cabbage heads. So I'm also going to be making Lazy Man cabbage rolls, which I'll show you in a separate video because this one is just for cabbage rolls. So. I have them sitting behind me in a big bowl of cold water so I can handle doing these. Now, for those of people out there that don't like cabbage, hint, hint, Mandy, Mark, <laughs> you can actually use any type of leaf. It doesn't have to be cabbage. I have made them using bok choy before. I have made them using Swiss chard. Uh, any leaf will work. If, it will, if it's a leaf and it's big enough, it rolls, it works. 
So all I do is I take a ball. I don't put, I don't overfill mine. I put it towards the bottom. I probably do mine weird. I don't really care. This is how I do mine. And I roll it. Holding that out, tucking it in, and into the tray it goes with some tomato sauce, tomato sauce, sorry, down on the bottom. Got another one here. Same thing again. Tuck everything all up in there nicely. Gosh, even if you wanted to, you could make this using rice paper. Mm, that would probably be really good, actually. Okay. Get this rolled in there. Get that one in there. See, and I couldn't get them all nicely off. Some of them split. You know, it's just how the nature of the beast. You can't get, not everything is going to come up, come out the way you want it to. Especially when you're growing it yourself and, you know, you're making it yourself. Just like there's little bug holes in all of these. I personally don't care because they've been washed, they've been soaked, and they've been boiled. And they're going to be cooked yet again. Bugs need to eat too. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going on this and I'll bring you back when I have this tray done and it's pretty much heading into the oven. So, we'll be right back. Uh, okay, so I got 11 cabbage rolls here, which this will be perfect for our supper tonight. I'm just gonna pour over some more tomato sauce. with tin foil. And I'm going to set this aside while I make the lazy man cabbage rolls. And then they'll sit and wait a little bit because it's not quite time to put these in the oven yet for supper. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna end up making more of these. That's why I started quite a bit early, because cabbage rolls always seem to take me a while to make. But these ones haven't. So, okay. But this is gonna go into a 400 degree oven for roughly an hour to an hour and a half. It just depends on how long everything takes to cook. So, we'll be back when these are out of the oven. And here are the cabbage rolls after they are done cooking. As you can probably see, yeah, you can see the, the steam coming off of these. These are gonna be deliciously wonderful. These are our dinner tonight with extra rice and vegetables on the side. So I hope you guys like, and I will see you again soon. Bye.